Ladies and gentlemen, from the Spice Island in Grenada, if you have not been there, you're missing all half your life. Uh, my very good friend for many years, I knew, I knew him when he was untouched by the evils of the world. That means he was a virgin when I met him. I love him plenty. Um, he is one of the best herbalists in the world. If you go on his site, you would see all the good work he's doing. My good friend, Patrick Delves. Thank you very much. Blessed love. Blessed love of the Musai. Yeah. Um, I want to start off with giving thanks to the Musai, you know, yeah, for carrying us here today. It's very significant. And I want to mention too that the earth is, or the sword is very significant. The earth. And we're going to talk about the earth today. Because we still try to um, correlate the organs of the body with the atmosphere. Yeah? Wonderful. All right. So we're going to talk a little bit about the herbal medicine. What is herbal medicine? And how we, 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 um, we deal with different conditions of the body. And then we're going to talk about the stomach, the earth, and how we can keep that particular area healthy in order for us to stay well. Um, Roland knew in 1997 my sister had cancer. I have, I have one sister who, have breast cancer, who had breast cancer. I know she's cancer free after eight years and um, didn't take off her breasts and she's doing natural treatment. All right? All praises to the Most High. Wonderful. Then I have another sister because I'm a twin who has thyroid cancer. And the iodine radiation did not work. I know she's doing natural stuff and she's living after seven years. Yeah? And I have a, I have a sister, Roland knew her um, when she had breast cancer. Didn't take off her breast, brought her to Roland. Roland and I spent a whole month with her, treating her properly. Nine months in New York. She was cancer free after five years. And she went back. You hear the word back? Backwards. And she went back eating the same foods. The cancer came back and killed her in three months. And my dad died from prostate cancer. And that's the reason why I'm so adamant about health, because I had a stroke. I'm a stroke survivor. I had epilepsy. I'm an epileptic survivor. I don't take no drugs. And I had pyre in my gums, and I was a migraine sufferer. And um, all, all praises are to the most high. Don't forget now. So that's the reason why I'm so adamant on teaching about health. Because I've been there. And I have a saying, who feels it, knows it. If you don't feel it, you can't know it. You know what I mean, some people might say, yeah, your mother has cancer and I know how you feel. You ever had cancer? You ever had a family member who had it? So you don't know how the person feels. You never had it. Until you have it, then you understand. So we teach prevention. So today we're going to talk a little bit about herbal medicine. And we're going to talk about stomach and stomach cancer and breast cancer. Because breast cancer is on the rise, especially in black women. And prost uh, prostate cancer is prevalent in black men. Bottom line. And the younger men now is coming with prostate cancer in the 50s. Never has it happened before. Yeah? What is herbal medicine? What is herbal medicine? Herbal medicine has been around for over 5,000 years. And that is the medicine that the Most High gave us in the beginning. Because there was no drugs in the beginning of times. So the Most High gave us a diet in the beginning. And that diet was an alkaline diet. And that diet he gave us was a vegetarian diet. Because our intestines, as Roland just pointed out a while ago, our intestines was not made down to digest meat protein, flesh protein. So in the beginning... Man never used to eat flesh foods until the flood or after the flood because there was no vegetation. See? But if you choose to eat flesh foods, the Most High gave you a choice. He said, if you're going to eat flesh, eat this, eat that, don't eat that. Because he knew what was good and what was bad. See? And also, we're supposed to know if you're going to eat your flesh foods, you have to know when to eat it, what time of the day to eat it, because of the length of time it takes to move from one place to the next. So herbal medicine is medicine that we practice. We use herbs, like a doctor uses allopathic drugs. We use herbs from the soil. And 
in herbal medicine, we don't try to fix your symptom. Because once you are trying to fix a person's symptom, you are causing the person to take a herb or a drug forever and ever. Amen. And that is a death sentence. You're not supposed to take nothing forever because your body has two mechanisms. One to protect you from all these viruses and cancer cells and antigens and bacteria and parasites and fungi. And if by any chance you have a disease, the most high put another system in you to repair what is damaged. So you're not supposed to take nothing forever. So in herbal medicine, what we do is we find the cause of your condition. And once we find the cause of your condition, the disease will be repaired because you find the cause. So if you have a vehicle and you are driving that vehicle and your engine light come on on your, on your dashboard and you take your vehicle to a mechanic and the, and the mechanic can, and can never find the cause of that light coming on, he just cuts a wire, he ain't fixed nothing. He must find the cause for that engine light to come off your dashboard and your car will run smoothly, right or wrong. Now in herbal medicine, there are plants that have energy and there are different kinds of herbs. There are hot plants like ginger. There are damp plants like sea moss. There is dry herbs like thyme. There is orange cool herbs like orange peel and there are warm plants like turmeric. So, when you go to a herbalist, or you just go, you just some people go and buy herbs and drink the herbs. It don't work like that. You must go to a herbalist and sit with a herbalist like you would a doctor and he will determine what energy 